In this video, I'm gonna go over one of my Etsy store that I started at the beginning of this month. And today's the March 27th, so it's almost the full month that I've been selling AI generated art using a software called Midjourney that's capable of creating really amazing AI art. And this way you will learn what you can expect as a brand new AI art seller on Etsy, what type of results you can see, what are the pros, what are the cons? I'm gonna go over the, my strategy that I did for this store. So let's get to it. Let's start with the first question, okay? What is AI art? I'm sure if you've been on social media in the last couple of months, you heard about ChatGPT and all this AI revolution is happening all over the internet pretty much. Every day we get a new software, new update someone is releasing a new ai type of tool so it's all over the place so you probably are sick and tired of listening about ai but it's truly a low-key revolution that's happening in front of the eyes and it's just happening so quickly the software i specifically use for this method is called Midjourney, which can generate really amazing pictures and images of a really good quality. And last week they released a new update called Midjourney 5 that makes that process even better and faster and smoother. To use Midjourney, you're gonna need Discord. If you don't know what Discord is, basically like a social media to communicate with people. And Midjourney has a free plan. However, if you wanna resell the art that you're gonna generate using Midjourney, you're gonna need the pay plan, which starts with the $10 a month and they also have different tiers well let's say the initial cost it's gonna be 10 bucks a month at the beginning which is not bad and speaking of cost let's break down the pros and cons of selling ai generated art on etsy okay so let's start with the good stuff the pros okay i think the biggest pro is that there's unlimited potential okay and what i mean by that is that there's no limit to how many images you can create the more images you create and post on etsy the more money you can make etsy is a market place that supports digital products so you can sell as many digital products as you want so again the more images you have the more money you can make profit margins on these items are relatively high you can expect 50 percent profit margins even higher than that because all you have to pay for is the fees on etsy plus ad fees if you run any ads and i recommend that you do run ads on etsy because they are very effective especially if you're running a brand new store and you don't have any reviews or establishment you're gonna need to run ads on etsy another big pro and honestly i think this is the biggest pro is that this is completely passive and what i mean by that is that you just build something upload it to the server to the etsy server and you don't deal with anything you don't fulfill orders you don't do anything at all okay this is the most passive way of making money that I know about, okay? I thought that dropshipping on eBay and Facebook Marketplace is very passive. This is a completely different level of passiveness. You don't do anything. You just create the product, list it, you're done. That's it. I also have to mention customer service. There is so little customer service involved in this. If you know how to set it up and you set it up correctly, people will not bother you. Out of the thousand orders that I've sold so far on two of my Etsy stores that are selling AI art, I got maybe 10 messages, probably even not that. And usually they're just about, hey, I didn't get my link because the person maybe is not familiar with Etsy or something. So I just send them the link to their folder where they can access the art and that's it. And both of my stores have a five-star reviews because there's no hassle, there's not a lot that people can complain about. Also, Etsy doesn't support return policy on digital products. You can return a digital product. There's a lot of potential with selling digital products and this is why this is amazing. And AI is only making it smoother and easier because, because now you can make this product very easy. Okay, these are the major pros that comes to my mind. But let's talk about cons now. There's not many cons in my opinion, but there's one major con that it's bothering me, for example. It can take quite some time to create one bundle of AI art that you wanna sell on Etsy. Some bundles that I created took me anything from like 20 minutes to an hour or more. Depends on the quality, depends on the, the file size. There's a lot that goes into it. So that's something that you need to keep in mind that you might have to invest some time in order to see the results, which the beginning might not be even big, which we're gonna go over once we get to the results of my store. Before we go to the results, I wanna tell you the strategy that I decided to take in order to get to the results that you know I created. So my strategy was pretty simple, okay? I was creating a bundles of 20 
PNGs of something that is already popular on Etsy. So I was using a tool called Everbee, which is an amazing tool, by the way. And I have a link for it down below under this video so you can find it very easily. But it's an amazing tool that allows you to see how many sales each store is making. So there are stores that are making thousands of dollars selling AI generated art. And I have a couple of videos that go over every B and how to use it. And if you want something more in depth, I have a 40 minute dedicated training video on how to sell AI art on Etsy that's available to my YouTube members. So you can click on the join button down below and you're going to have access to it as well. But basically I was using every B to see what is already selling, what are other stores selling. And I was trying to sell something similar. Okay. I was not trying to copy exactly what they're doing, but I was trying to get very similar results, very similar niche, because if something is already selling, that's a data that I can use in order to generate something else. For example, some of the images, I noticed that are selling on Etsy are these mushrooms, okay? There's a lot of mushroom theme AI generated art. It's very popular and it's selling like crazy. I saw a guy that is selling a bundles of PNGs that have red mushrooms. So I decided to create a PNG bundle that contains pink mushrooms, okay? Again, it's similar, but if a person goes on Etsy and try to look for mushrooms and they see the red ones, Etsy might suggest my pink ones because it's very similar. So the algorithms kind of integrate and work together. And the guy looking for the mushrooms be like, hey, I have the red ones, but the pink ones are cool too. So let me get them as well. So that's the strategy I took and I think it was very effective. So let's go over my Etsy store right now and the results I got from the last month. All right, so this is my Etsy store that I started last month. Right now it's an early morning and so far I got five orders and generated $9 in revenue, which is not a lot to be honest with you. But again, it's the beginning of the day, so I'm sure I'm going to make way more money once this is all over, okay? Let's refresh it so you can see that this is all legit and real. As you can see, everything is intact. For example, yesterday, this store generated $50 in sales. That was the first day of generating that much money, okay? Usually the number was between... Actually, I'm going to show you what were the numbers in the last couple of days, okay? So let me go over the stats so we can see the breakdown of everything, okay? So uh, I'm gonna select this month to show you the whole uh, breakdown. Okay, so we are in March. So from March 1st to March 27th, today's the 27th, so it's almost a full month, but here are the stats, okay? So we got 2,364 visitors, 216 orders, the conversion rate, I believe this is pretty high, it's 9.1. Usually in marketing, I would say anything above 2% conversion is pretty high. I started selling on Etsy two months ago, okay? I've been selling on eBay and Facebook. For example, my eBay store, the conversion rate on that store is 1.5. So 9.1, it's, it's really high to me, okay? I, I think it's a pretty high number. So 9.1 conversion rate and it generated $487 in revenue, okay? That's not my profit yet. We're gonna go over the profit in a minute, but that's the revenue, okay? As you can see, most of the traffic came from the Etsy app. A lot of also came from the Etsy search and then some from Etsy marketing and SEO. I think the difference between those three is that the Etsy app is basically their like suggestive algorithm. So a lot of traffic that came to my listing came from Etsy suggesting my AI art to other people. As I mentioned in the example of the mushroom, right? Some guy was selling red mushrooms. I started selling pink ones. So Etsy was suggesting my art to them because it was very similar. Etsy search is the second most popular uh, traffic thing. I think this is just if someone types anything in Etsy, it just shows up and people can find my listings. And then 22 from the Etsy marketing and SEO, I think this is a traffic coming from outside Etsy. So if someone was looking for something on Google, for example, Etsy would show them my listing and that's where these people are coming from, okay? 25% came from visits that I brought, I guess. So direct and other traffic, I think that means if someone just come to my store directly, so if someone type in my name of my store in Google or uh, sorry, on the browser, I think that's how they came to social media. It says three, I'm not sure. I don't really advertise this on any social media. Maybe Etsy did, I'm not sure. And Etsy ads is 324. I have to tell you that maybe this number is low, but a lot of my uh, sales came from Etsy ads and I highly recommend that you run Etsy ads. I started running my ads $5 for all my listings. Currently I have 23 listings. So not a lot of listings, but a lot of traffic, a lot of sales come from Etsy ads. I selected the Etsy ads 
for the short-term conversion or something like that. Basically, to get more orders, super effective. I highly recommend that you run ads because they work amazing on Etsy, okay? Let's go over the orders. So as you can see, when I started, I was not getting a lot of orders. I had days that were very slow, okay? That's because I didn't have many listings. I think I started more listings around March 10th. That's what it's showing right here, right? So around that period, I would say that week is the week that I added more listings. So in the first couple of days, I had maybe like four or five listings. And then I added another 10 around this week. Okay, so the week of March 10 to, I would say 17, I think around that, that period of time. So you can see that, that you know, it was a slow growth and it's it's been up and down um right now again it's it's showing that it's going down but honestly it's it's early morning when i'm recording it so this graph is gonna probably be somewhere around here or maybe even here hopefully it's gonna be somewhere around here you know what i mean okay let's go over the conversion rate so here is a conversion rate uh again um i don't know for some reason this day was really high but it's pretty consistent, I would say. It's it's anything between uh, like 10, 11% to six. Right now we are at the 10%, which again, in my opinion, it's relatively high. Let's go over the revenue. So this is the revenue. As you can see, the days have been really slow, but it's constantly growing. Every day we're getting uh, more money and more. I, I showed you earlier that yesterday we get the first day of the $50 mark. I don't know why they do it in the, in the breakdown like this. Like you can see it, it's showing that uh, yesterday I made $29 and today I made 34. That's not true because um, today I made $9 so far and yesterday I made $50. I think that's because they're using a different time zone to calculate this. I'm in the West Coast zone, uh, you know, Pacific time timeline. I think this is more like a uh, some 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 European timeline. I'm not sure, but that's that's not really accurate breakdown. But let's just assume you know the average is like 30 bucks uh, right now a day, and I'm sure I'm gonna get <laughs> to higher numbers relatively fast because I already have a couple of more bundles ready to be listed. Okay, so now we are at the payment account tab, which is gonna show you the actual profit. It's gonna show you the breakdown of how much I paid in fees, how much I paid in advertising, and stuff like that. Okay. So let's go over this. So the first step I want to show you is the sales. Okay, how much I generated in sales, which is $489, all right? Now, out of that, uh, I paid $156 in fees. And it includes listing fee, transaction fees, and processing fees, okay? So these are the fees I have to pay on Etsy in order to uh, pay for all of that. There is no shipping fees because I don't ship anything. Everything is automatically set up. So there's no shipping fees. So that's how I pay, how much I paid in fees. But another major fee that I'm paying for is marketing, okay? I'm, as I told you, I use the Etsy ads, which are very effective and I recommend you use them as well. So here's the breakdown of my marketing fees, okay? So Etsy ads, $123, offsite ads, 67 cents. Not sure what that is. Sales tax on subscription nothing okay all right so now you know how much i spend in fees how much i spend on marketing what about the actual profit how much i actually made selling uh, ai generated art okay so the actual profit is 207 dollars and 74 cents so that's how much i made so far in march on this brand new account okay this is a brand new account without any reviews without nothing i just i just started from the scratch and it was able to generate $207 in profit. And again, I have only 23 listings so far, and I'm gonna be adding more listings every day pretty much. And then I don't do anything. I don't fulfill any orders. I barely get any messages. As you can see, there's very little hassle with this. It's automatically generating me money. It might not be a lot, but I'm gonna snowball this thing, okay? I'm gonna build this up and make it bigger and bigger. If you're interested in watching more of these results, maybe you wanna see what are the results next month, let me know in the comments so I will, you know, post another video, an update video in April maybe and show you the, whatever the results in April. But yeah, I'm going to snowball this store, build it up. And again, it's really amazing. If you're interested in learning more about this, 
check out my YouTube videos. I have a bunch of them. I also run Facebook dropshipping and eBay dropshipping businesses, which are also relatively passive. You can do them from anywhere. Maybe not as passive as this, but they're still relatively good if you're interested in checking them out. And if you want a whole video, a training video dedicated to AI selling on Etsy, I have this video available on my YouTube members. So join and you're going to get access to it. You're also going to get access to AI prompts that I post every month. So you can use them to sell products on Etsy. These are the prompts that I, my personal product research. So I know they work in Etsy. But yeah, AI art on Etsy, it's a real thing. It works. These are the results that you can get. Again, this is the first month. It's relatively small, but I have a second store that I've been running for two months and it was a very similar story. The first month I made a couple hundred dollars. Okay, very little. Second month we snowballed this to another level. It's it's really exciting to see this growing and this is really amazing. And I hope you enjoy this so far. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time, my friend. Take care.